Question 3. The equation x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed minus 1 equal to 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So on A, find a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed, uh, delta cubed, and set the value of alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed plus delta cubed. So we have right here a quadratic equation. And in order for us to find the quadratic equation with the roots alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed, and delta cubed, we're going to say let y be equal to x cubed. So when we do that, we make x the subject, so it means x is equal to y to the power of a third. So in this quadratic equation, which is in terms of x, we're going to substitute y to the power of a third in place of x to get a new equation with these roots. So this means we'll be having in place of x on x power 4, it becomes y to the power of a third to the power of 4. And that's minus 2 of y to the power of a third to the power of 3 minus 1 equal to 0. So we can simplify. We'll now be having y to the power of 4 over 3 minus 2 of here. If we multiply a third times 3, we get 1. So we'll now be just having 2y and that's minus 1 equal to 0. So it means we can make y to the power of 4 over 3 subject which is y to the power of 4 over 3 is equal to 2y plus 1. Now, we can raise both sides, or we can cube both sides, or raise to the power of 3. So it means we'll now be having, on the left side, um, y to the power of 4. And on the right side, if we raise 2y plus 1 to the power of 3, we'll now be having 2y cubed plus 3 of 2y squared plus 3 of 2y plus 1. So we can simplify that and that's going to give us 8y cubed plus 3 times 4, that's 12y squared plus 6y plus 1. So if we take everything to one side, that is to the left side, we'll eventually have y to the power of 4 minus 8y to the power of 3 minus 12y squared minus 6y minus 1 equal to 0. So what we now have here is the quadratic equation with the roots alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed, and delta cubed. Now also according to the question, they say state the value of the sum of the roots alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed plus delta cubed that is for the new aquatic equation which is in terms of y so to get the sum of roots we know that for aquatic equation the sum of roots is obtained by minus b over a so we're saying here alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed plus delta cubed is equal to minus b. b in this case is the coefficient of y cubed, which is minus 8. So it's minus of minus 8 over a. a in this case is the coefficient of y to the power of 4, which is 1. So we are going to get the answer as 8. So that's the answer right there. So we're done with part a. We can now scroll down to part B. On part B, they say, find the value of 1 over alpha cubed plus 1 over beta cubed plus 1 over gamma cubed plus 1 over delta cubed. Okay, so um, in order to get the value of this, what we're going to do is we are going to express this as a single fraction so we will have a common denominator in alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed, 
and delta q. So that's a common denominator right there. And at the top, we'll be having, if we divide alpha cubed into the denominator, we'll be left with beta cubed, gamma cubed, alpha cubed. And that's plus, dividing beta cubed into the denominator, we get alpha cubed, gamma cubed, and delta cubed. And dividing gamma cubed into the denominator, we have alpha cubed, beta cubed, and delta cubed. And dividing delta cubed into the denominator, we get alpha cubed, beta cubed, and gamma cubed. So for this, we are going to be using the quadratic equation that we got in part A. So for the numerator, you can see that the numerator is the sum of the product of triples. And for a quadratic equation, the sum of the product of triples is obtained by minus d over a. In our case, d is the coefficient of y, which happens to be minus 6. So we just have this for the sum of the product of triples. And at the bottom, we have the product of roots. And we know that the product of roots for a quadratic equation is e over a. In our case, e is the term minus 1. And that's minus 1 over 1, which is just minus 1. So it's like we've got 6 over minus 1, which is minus 6. So the answer here is minus 6. We can scroll down to part C. So on part C they say, find the value of alpha to the power 4 plus beta to the power 4 plus gamma to the power 4 plus delta to the power of 4. Now for this equation, we are going to use the first equation in terms of x. So we are going to take this equation here. And that's the one we are going to use for part C. So I'll just put it here. So for this equation, we can make x to the power 4 subject. So it's x to the power 4 is equal to 2x cubed plus 1. Now, since alpha is a root of this equation, we can say alpha to the power 4 is equal to 2 alpha cubed plus 1. And also since beta is a root to this e equation, we can safely say beta to the power 4 is equal to 2 beta cubed plus 1. Gamma is also a root, so gamma to the power 4 is equal to 2 gamma cubed plus 1. And delta is a root, so delta to the power 4 is equal to 2 delta cubed plus 1. Now, if we add these four equations, on the left side, we'll now be having alpha to the power 4 plus beta to the power 4 plus gamma to the power 4 plus delta to the power 4, which is, if we add the right side, we get 2 of alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed plus delta cubed. And that's plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's 4. Okay. So for the sum here, we get 2 off. And here we've got the sum alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed plus delta cubed, which we got a little bit earlier as 8 right here. So that's 8. So we have 8 here. And that's plus 4, which is 16 plus 4, which gives us 20. So the answer to part C is 20. And that's it for this question. We can now scroll down to question number 4.